special story makers troupe today. We have Janice Dean, who's going to take us to Lily Pond, USA for Freddie the Frogcaster's latest adventure, and that's the huge hurricane. Are you ready? I am certainly ready. Okay, here we go. I'm ready for Freddie. <laughs> Freddie is ready for you. Okay, Freddie the Frogcaster and the huge hurricane. Summer break. Freddie cheered as the last school bell rang. What's your forecast for summer vacation, Freddie? Gil Flipper asked. Pond diving, frog surfing, and lots of weather watching, Freddie answered. With no school, Freddie also had time to spend at the Frog News Network. First thing the next morning, Freddie was outside checking weather clues. Light wind, low humidity, and clear blue skies. Perfect beach weather, Freddie said. I hope it stays like this for our trip to the beach next week. Meanwhile, Freddie had plenty to keep him busy. He headed back to the house for breakfast and chores. Then Freddie was off to help Sally Croker and Polly Woggins at the Frog News Network. So he's sort of an intern. He is, <laughs> but he's sometimes better than the frog casters on TV. <laughs> Sally welcomed Freddie with big news. It's time for you to learn how to report the weather, she said. <gasps> you mean on TV? Freddie asked in a shaky voice. Weather watching was one thing, but talking in front of a camera? That was a different story. Well, this is a television weather studio, Sally playfully reminded him. Um, maybe later, Sally. I'm on the lookout for hurricanes right now, Freddie said as he studied the latest satellite image. You've been on TV before, haven't you, Rocco? Uh, once, or, once or twice. <laughs> okay. You can understand how he's a little bit afraid. Yes, I get that way. Uh-oh, Freddie pointed a big swirl of clouds out in the ocean. Is this what I think it is? Let's check it out. Sally pulled up the Tropical Weather website. You're right, Freddie. Hurricane hunters are investigating that cluster of storms. Polly Woggins looked at Sally's screen. Wind speeds are at 39 miles per hour. This is the first tropical storm of the season. And look, Freddie said, its name is Andrea. The next day, tropical storm Andrea was getting stronger and moving closer to land. Look at the path of this storm, Freddie noticed. It's heading our way. Polly read the weather report. Wind speeds are up to 74 miles per hour and the barometric pressure is dropping. That is a sure sign the storm is getting stronger. This isn't a tropical storm anymore. Andrea is a hurricane. It's time to warn everyone. Sally hopped into action and went live with a frog news alert. A hurricane is making its way toward Lilypad. We need to get ready and be safe. And he looks very worried, if he, you ask me. He does look a little bit worried, I would say. Freddie hurried home to help his family. Along the way, he noticed that Lilypad was getting ready to be prepared. After all, they'd had a lot of practice. First, it was a thunderstorm, there was the big blizzard, and now a hurricane. Looks like the whole town is ready, Freddy, Mr. Flyswatter called out. My hardware store has sold out of plywood and flashlights. You're just in time to help, Freddy's dad said. We've already put the lawn furniture away. The last thing we need is a lawn chair rocket flying around in hurricane force winds, Freddy's mom explained. While his dad finished securing the windows, Freddy got busy putting together the hurricane emergency kit. Well, I want to see what's in this kit. What would you put inside a hurricane emergency uh, kit, Rocco? I think I would put a flashlight. Yes. A uh, transistor radio. Do they call them transistor radio? Well, a radio is good, but a NOAA weather radio is uh, what you oh, want to have. Oh, a NOAA. Yes, so it's specific to giving out the latest emergency weather information. So if you have a hurricane watch or a hurricane warning, the NOAA weather radio keeps you safe and will let you know the latest alerts. So that's another one. What about bottled water? That's, uh, yes. Bottled water and, and some non-perishable food items. Energy bars or something like that. Energy bars, absolutely. I think, I think you got most of them. Great. Good job. Well, thank you. A plus, Rocco. The next morning, Hurricane Andrea was right on track. Winds were getting stronger, dark clouds were rolling in, and the barometric pressure was dropping even more. This huge hurricane was on its way. 
Inside the news station, everyone had a job to do. Polly was going to broadcast live from outside. I'm sorry, that Polly is a very daring frog. Well, she wants to go out and, and be in the, in the midst of the hurricane. Right. But stay tuned and see what happens. Sally would stay inside and report on the hurricane's path, radar, and satellite images. What about me? asked Freddie. Freddie's job was to watch the latest bulletins from the Hurricane Center and help update the weather graphics. Across town at the Frogatorium, the mayor was greeting families looking for a safe place to stay. Welcome to the strongest building in Lilypad, he bellowed. We'll all be protected. When he saw Freddie's parents, the mayor winked. I hear Freddie is on the job. I know he won't let us down. The mayor shows up in every book, doesn't he? Well, he's important. He has to let people know where the safest place in Lilypad is. Right. Too, right? As Polly was outside reporting, a big gust of wind swept her off her webbed feet. This is Polly Woggins, live outside the Frog News headquarters. Hurricane Andrea has arrived and... Whoosh! In an instant, she was soaking wet. She hung on to a nearby signpost to steady herself. Yikes, she yelled. No frog should be out in this. <laughs> you didn't think of a fellow meteorologist that had a similar no situation. <laughs> I perhaps am the only meteorologist you will ever meet that does not want to be outside in a hurricane. Right. I'd rather be inside warning people not to be outside. After a while, it got really quiet outside. The wind died down and the rain tapered off. Phew, it's not so bad out here now, Polly reported. Polly has been out there long enough, Sally said with concern. The eye of the storm is passing over lily pad and the backside of the hurricane will hit full force soon. I have to get her inside. But someone has to give the weather update on TV to warn all the frogs, Freddie suggested. You're right, Sally said, and handed him the microphone. It's time to do your first frog news alert, Freddie. And I see he has a bow tie just like me. He does. <laughs> I think he's been watching you on I, TV. I guess so. <laughs> he has good fashion sense. The words on air started flashing before Freddie got the chance to get scared. He stood up tall and looked right into the camera, and then he did what he had seen Sally and Polly do many times before. This is Freddie the Frogcaster with breaking weather news, he said, and pointed to the satellite image behind him. This is Hurricane Andrea. The eye of the storm is right over Lilypad. It may be calm and quiet outside now, but don't be fooled. This hurricane isn't over yet. Freddie cleared his throat. Everyone needs to stay inside and be... What do you think he's going to say? Uh, careful. Prepared. Prepared. Very close. Yes. Freddie's friends and family shouted. They were all watching him on TV at the Frogatorium. Go, Freddie! They cheered as their favorite young frogcaster made his TV debut. Freddie's parents were smiling proudly when the mayor hopped over. Freddie saves the day again, the mayor said. He had more to say, but all of a sudden, whoosh! The wind howled and the rain started pounding again. The hurricane was back, just like Freddie had predicted. Let me try that. <laughs> Whoosh! Whoosh! Lilypad was a mess the next morning. Trees were down, cars were flipped over, plenty of roofs needed to be repaired. But all that could be fixed. The good news is everybody was safe. Freddie was so happy to see his parents. The mayor was with them, and so was his friend, Gil Flipper. Freddie, Lilypad can't thank you enough, the mayor said, shaking his hand. Yes, congratulations on your first TV report, F Gil, his friend, exclaimed. And by the way, Freddie, this is for you. <laughs> the mayor reached behind Gil and pulled out a long, flat package. It was tied with a big red bow. What do you think that is? A surfboard, you isn't think it? think so? I think you're right. A frog board for our beach trip, Freddie said with delight. And so far, the weather looks totally awesome for surfing. And hopefully no tidal waves. Yes. The end. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that was great. Thank you.